So the property market is very active at the moment and we've got far more buyers than we've got, unfortunately, properties on the market, over 20 registered applicants for every house. So what seems to be making a comeback in the last few weeks at least is let to buy mortgages. So this is where you're renting out your current property to buy a new one and therefore you're not having to rely on the sale of yours in order to proceed. So the let to buy hasn't been quite as popular in recent years and that's because some years ago the government introduced stamp duty surcharge to try and put people off doing this type of transaction just to put that tax in the way to make it less financially attractive because as we know we just don't build enough houses and they were not keen on the amateur landlord um, renting out the current properties to, to start a little portfolio. So why is it making a comeback? Well, the stamp duty surcharge is 3%. Now last year, 2021, property prices increased by 10% and we're in line for some more rises this year as well. So yes, it's not ideal that you've got to pay this 3% surcharge, but if you have another year in terms of property price inflation like we did last year, then potentially you're going to make it back quite quickly and given a, length, a longer length of time, you probably will make that back within a year or two if things continue as they're going. The other thing of course as well is that property prices have been rising so therefore people are building up more equity in their properties and to get a let to buy remortgage you are looking at 75% loan to value. So if you're in a situation where you'd like to move but you're a bit nervous about putting your house on the market in case you sell it too quickly and you've got nothing to find, get in touch and we'll explain how it all works. Thanks for watching. If you're in the market for mortgage advice, please drop me an email, malcolm at ukmoneyman.com or give us a call and please subscribe to our channel.